I've never seen this apartment this messy. Clothes everywhere, dishes in the sink that need to be washed, living room packed, bedroom, clothes everywhere, shoes everywhere, bathroom still needs to be cleaned. But I have a reason for this mess. Plain and simple, I'm moving into a new apartment. That's it. Over the past few months, adaptability, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, has been the main focus for me because I've realized that even if you have a plan, even if you think you have life figured out, which I don't know how I can think of that, how many of us can think of that, there's some things that alter the way that you move, change your plans, your circumstances, and you either adapt to them or you let them affect you in one way, shape, or form. So, since November, December, I've been looking at apartments and obviously my lease coming up in April uh, ending. So, I'm always, I've always been proactive at looking at apartments. And I looked at apartment and I found one. I toured it and I'm excited to start a new chapter. And that chapter starts as soon as the next couple of days, which for this, for me, it'll be tomorrow. Today is evening, evening time. I just got back from work as per why I'm still wearing this clothes. But yeah, tomorrow is gonna be officially moving day. And you know, I mean, I, you guys saw it. You guys saw all the, the craziness that I have everywhere. It's because I'm moving into a different unit and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to start a new chapter in, in a new space, new environment. Also, many things I've adapted to. I got a promotion at work. So that's something that I've, over the past few months, have adapted to. So I've been learning, training, getting, to, getting adjusted to my new uh, role and my new team. So yeah, that's, that's been, a lot of change over the past few months, even since the start of the year. And I haven't been able to document it, but I've realized in the past few weeks that I want to start documenting everything, even if it's not up to par with my standards as when it comes to filming or what, where I see myself. But I think that's the reason why I got stuck for so long is because I've been waiting for that perfect moment waiting to, you know, feel like, oh, this is going to be a great video. Um, I think as long as I am myself putting the best foot forward, doing my best to give the best of me every single day to you guys, I think that's the, the best that I can do. And that's what I've decided to do, especially as I move into a new apartment. I thought, what better way to start back at the channel? Because last year, I remember, I didn't post for a while. And then the moving vlogs that I did were the catalyst for me to start filming again. This won't be the case this time. Because I don't want to be yeah, like, oh, filming a couple videos and then he's gone. Like, I, I want to practice more being consistent with myself and with you guys. And I think that starts with me being disciplined and planning, you know, the content, the topics. I do have a lot of things to talk about that you'll see throughout the videos. But that's a lot of things I've adapted to the past couple of months that as the videos go on, I'll continue to talk about. Another thing that I had to adapt to is the Bad Bunny's concert being canceled. Yes, I had tickets for a Bad Bunny's concert since last year or yeah, October, November, somewhere in that timeline. And the concert was supposed to happen last week, March 23rd, Saturday. And it got canceled two days before the show was about to happen. I already had an outfit. I was excited. I already had, you know, the plan of what I was gonna film, like everything, because I haven't seen Bad Bunny in concert. And obviously Bad Bunny's from Puerto Rico. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, and I'm always going to be. Um, so everywhere he goes, I feel like I'm there. I feel like, you know, I'm represented. You know, he, 
at the, at the top of the music industry, and he's taken Puerto Rico all over the world, in television and records, billboards, etc. And I'm proud of that. So I've never seen him in concert. I said, he's going to Minneapolis. I have to see him. And they canceled the show. A lot of people have asked me how I've been, especially coworkers, because they've heard of me talk about how much I wanted to see Bad Bunny in concert and how excited I was. And um, I think because I've, over the past couple of months, I've started to understand that there's a lot of things that are out of my control. I'm at peace with the fact that they canceled the show. Am I frustrated? Somewhat, yeah, because it was two days before the concert. But there's nothing that I can do, so I got to adapt to that. So I'm going to still listen to Bad Bunny on Spotify. And I'm going to still sing like if, it were, if I were at the concert, front row, singing, you know, whatever. So it don't, it don't matter. I think everything that comes your way in life you either learn from it adapt to it or let it affect you so I'm just taking everything in embracing it and moving forward so that's all that has happened over the past few months promotion at work the Bad Bunny concert getting cancelled and now moving into a new apartment which is why you see this crazy mess happening so let's get to it because um, I'm trying to move this, everything in one day, move it tomorrow. I still have my keys until the end of this month, but I want to get as much done in one day. But that day is tomorrow, moving a day officially when I get the keys. But I'm doing the prep work to move in tomorrow. That's why you're seeing all everything behind the scenes of craziness. So. Let's get to it. Let's get some cleaning. So you're gonna see me clean and organize. Just take this time to sit back, relax, or maybe relax and do some cleaning with me. All right, let's get here.
so latest update i pretty much got bathroom and bedroom done the only thing that i have to do in the bathroom is clean the shower and also just wipe surfaces maybe wipe the toilet and all that but everything else is good to go this is what the bedroom is looking like current situation boom bed is almost everything is gone basically so i got that the clothes that i have over there that's for is what i'm going to wear tomorrow and morning afternoon and then the next day so i have that and then yeah pretty much have this done i use that for the tripod but shoes and then the suit that i gotta take out and then everything else should be pretty much empty the only thing that i would say is i have left in the bedroom is vacuum so i'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's pretty late and i don't want to vacuum after hours it just makes too much noise so i'm gonna do that first thing in the morning so that's what we're doing right now. Latest update, yeah, that's what it's kind of looking like. And like, like I said, don't look at me crazy with this tripod part. This is how the bathroom situation is currently looking like. Still got that because I might shower tomorrow, I don't know. And that, but I gotta clean the tub, wipe the surface, because I pretty much cleaned this yesterday. And then wipe th these surfaces and mirror. So that's that. This, I don't know if you guys can see pretty well, but that's the bed frame, the mirror, coffee table. I put it right here so that way we can get that out of the way. And this is how it's currently looking like. I know it's, it's a mess, but trust me, I'm organizing by area. So the standing desk is pretty much clean and ready to go. I'm gonna start putting things here by category. So this is bedding, pillows for the second bedroom. And then this is clothes for master closet. So yeah, that's how everything is looking like. I gotta go through this area. Cause I think I'm gonna take a couple of these things and put them in those boxes. So that way I can avoid multiple trips. So those boxes, and I don't know if you can see, I gotta do some laundry. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. And then I, I'm gonna clean kitchen island. So pretty much what I'm gonna do the rest of the evening before I go to bed is do the laundry. While I have that going on, I'm going to organize the living room just to figure out like areas. I wanna have like the second bedroom in an area, the master bedroom in another area the kitchen and living room in another area. So that way, tomorrow, once I get my keys, it's literally just moving areas, boom, boom, boom. And it just smooth, smooth cruising tomorrow. But the biggest things that I have to move are the TV and that TV stand. And then this bad boy right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but the couch. So, what I'll do is that I'll continue cleaning and then I think I'm gonna catch you guys up tomorrow for moving day. I guess this is journal entry number one, moving day. Dear journal, it's moving day, officially moving day. I've gotten used to moving a lot since I was 17, moving from living with my family back home in Puerto Rico to move into Iowa for college, then moving door to door in between college years, to moving into off-campus apartments, to then moving back to Puerto Rico, and now Minnesota for the past almost two years. I guess I've always been one to explore and take risks, even from a young age. These past almost two years in Minnesota have taught me how environments, people, circumstances and our own decisions change who we are and shape the path that we take in life. Today, one chapter ends and another one begins. 
I've always been nostalgic, reflective, reminiscent, whatever word that best describes looking into the past ever since I was in high school and middle school. While I was hanging out with friends, playing different sporting events, attending high school trips, being in classes, I always knew and understood that nothing was going to last forever, that there was an end in the near future. And although I came to peace with that fact, we all at times reminisce back to the times that once were, and we often think that everything lasts forever. And maybe that's why we take things for granted. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe all those memories are there for us to remember and ground ourselves on not taking life for granted. I know you have set this goal many times to yourself, Jonathan, but I, it's always a good reminder to enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll realize they were the big things. Enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll realize they were the big things. As you look back into your life, think about those moments that you now remember years later. What are the things that come up to mind? What are those moments that still to this day you can remember like if it was just yesterday? Those uncontrollable laughters before basketball and volleyball practices, the jokes you played with your friends, roommates, the moments you felt proud of yourself, the bonds and friendships you created along the way, the moments of solitude that you had in the apartment, dancing, singing to Bad Bunny, singing to Drake, whatever the case may be. All those little things add up. And all those little things is what we give meaning and purpose and what life is all about. As I move and prepare to start a new chapter, it's always good to reassess and look how far you've come. I never, never, ever will forget what I came from, what my family, everyone that has helped me along the way for me to be where I'm at. I'm always going to be grateful, and I'm always going to have that in mind. Every chapter is scary. You never know what the chapter is going to bring. You never know what life is going to throw at you. But one thing I've learned recently is that Everything that happens, happens for a reason. Happens for you to grow and learn. And maybe it's that, that hump that you need to get over in order to step into the next level or the next chapter of your life. It's always good to strive. It's always good to have ambition. But you also got to take a step back and reassess and be grateful to be able to live this moment in time, to be able to have family, to be able to have friends, to be able to have a roof over your head, have food on your table, have a job that provides you income. Regardless of what circumstances are going on in the world and society, there's a lot of things to be grateful for and a lot of things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for everything that has happened to me, good or not so good, that has led me to where I'm at today, which is moving day. And with moving day, I always feel that it is sort of a restart, a new beginning. As I mentioned, one chapter ends and another one begins. And I truly mean that. Like Every time I move, it's... It's hard because you feel like you, you're leaving a piece of you behind, but that piece is not going anywhere. It's coming with you. It's still a part of your story. It's still a chapter in your life. And I think that's the thing that ever since I was in middle school, I started to comprehend, but I didn't fully understand that the things that we miss, we miss, but in reality, they're still with us. They still shape us. They still are memories that we can tell stories to our families, tell stories to our friends. Stories. 
And that's what this is. This is my story. I know this is too long of a talk. Is this a podcast? I don't know. This is journal entry number one. And I'm excited for this new chapter. I'm excited to step into a new space and create new memories that I know I'll look back at a few years from now, maybe decades, and be proud that I was able to document and see my growth. So this space allowed me to be myself. This space allowed me to battle myself and learn more about the things that I have to do to grow. And forever I will be indebted to this apartment, not only to this apartment itself, but just the space it provided. The safety and comfort of being myself, enjoying my company. and I finally am able to kick my feet up, relax, eat some pizza because it's been a long day, and watch some college basketball, NCAA March Madness, uh, supporting my guys at Iowa State, which they're playing shortly. And I wanted to take a moment just to catch up with you guys and give you the latest updates on how I've been. Everything, everything's been good for me. Uh, I got a promotion at work two months ago. So it's been it's been exciting to step into a new role with the same team and still work with same colleagues, but in a new way. Been excited to learn, continue growing, doing trainings and all that. So that's what I've been up to uh, at work. Uh, personally, I've been you know adapting to obviously working multiple jobs, ha having a relationship, and also doing YouTube, trying to do TikToks, Instagram. So sometimes I stretch myself too thin. It's something that a lot of people have mentioned to me personally and directly. One of the things that I mentioned in my IG story was adaptability. And I think I mentioned it at the top of one of the, these videos is 
Adaptability has been the word that has stuck in my mind over the past few months because there's been a lot of change in my life. A lot of it has come fast. I wasn't expecting it to necessarily move into a new apartment like quick. Uh, initially, I thought that I could move in or get an apartment by end of April, beginning of May, but everything just went fast. Um, so now we're at a new apartment, new space, and I'm excited to create new memories here and build this uh, home for myself and my girlfriend and just go f grow from there. I, I'm excited that I get a second bedroom that we can use, we're going to use as an office, but also as a creative space where I can edit. And uh, eventually if I get a console, I'll do a PS5 or something like that just to play games, to unwind and relax. But it's, it's exciting, you know, when you get a new apartment, when you start something new, there's always that nervous, exciting emotions of wanting to do a lot of things, wanting to get a lot of things to make it the best that you envision it to be. I know that that's a step-by-step -step process. It's a one day at a time kind of thing. So I've been enjoying the journey despite being fast, happening fast. And uh, with become, like happening fast, there's also been somewhat of a stress to get everything processed and, you know, payments, documents, background checks and all that in place in order for us to uh, get this apartment. I'm going to continue to enjoy. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll continue to give you guys updates in the next couple of videos. I'm going to get some food, continue eating, watch some college basketball, and maybe I'll show you if Iowa State wins. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow or a little bit later.